Today, we're going to talk about one of the best farmers in Rise of Kingdoms, Constance, the Queen of Sicily. If you're not already subscribed, consider hitting that subscribe button. It helps grow the channel and helps us make more quality videos to help you improve in Rise of Kingdoms. As you can see here, Constance is one of the best and easiest gathering commanders to get in the game. Constance is easily obtainable in the Expedition Store. At 400 coins per head, I recommend getting her before Ethel Fled. Her sculptures never run out, they're always available, and realistically, you're going to use her a lot more before you actually need to think about using Ethel Fled. Constance's skills make her one of the best gathering commanders in the game. Her fourth skill, Queen of Sicily, gives an extra 10% resources when you finish gathering after you max it out. This means 10% of anything you pick up, whether it's gems, gold, wood, etc. She's especially useful if you include her in places like gold pits, because when you sit there for 12 hours, that extra 10% resource is a whole other hour of gathering. The other skill you should emphasize trying to level up is her second skill. This gives bonus wood, food, and stone gathering. The third skill is also pretty useful, increased load, but once you reach a certain point, it really doesn't matter how, many, how much load you have, because you have almost infinite troops. To get the most out of Constantine, you need to get her to level 38. This will allow you to maximize superior tools. This makes it the best, fastest gathering she can possibly be. If you, like me, decide to increase Constantine all the way to level 60, there's a few other skills you should prioritize. Tourniquet, getting that up, will reduce the amount of severely wounded troops. This is helpful if you're in place with farm killers who decide to farm in dangerous zones in KVK. Also, you should consider getting Modified Axle because it increases the speed of your siege units. From there, fresh recruits will allow you to carry more troops, so if you manage to get into a gold pit, and for some reason your alliance does not cap the number of troops you're supposed to have in there, you can increase the amount of troops that you have. From there, it's really just a matter of personal preference. For me, I like to reduce skill damage taken, because, you know, anything to help fight the farm killers, and then also latent power to maximize skill damage done, even though constant skills don't do much damage. It's nice to have this to fight back a little bit against the farm killers. If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, and comment on the video below if you want to see any other guides or any ideas for new videos.